At 7.30, we got Illinois, who started the season off with a win, although it was a tight one against Toledo. They pulled out an improbable victory, considering Toledo arguably outplayed them in that football game. Traveling to Kansas, who also had a weird way to start the year. Um, their star quarterback, Jaden Daniels, did not play in this game, in last week's game. I don't know if he's going to be healthy enough to play this week. Kansas, by the way, is favored by three on ESPN2. Luke Altmaier for Illinois went 18 to 26, threw for 211 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. Not bad in his first start as the Illinois starting quarterback. Also led his team on the ground with nine carries for 69 yards. Pat Bryant on the through the air had six catches for 64 yards and two touchdowns. Jason Bean for Kansas went 22 to 28, threw for 276 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Devin Neal on the ground had 13 carries for 94 and a touchdown. And Lawrence Arnold had four catches for 77 yards. Illinois leads the series all time, 3-2. to two. Last game went to Kansas, though, in 1968 was the last two and these two teams played. Um, what I think is going to be really interesting to watch in this game is both these teams had a lot of high and exciting expectations to start the year. They did not start the year great. Now, I can excuse Kansas because, again, they were playing with Jason Bean at quarterback. They, had, they have at least some reason. They don't have been as good as people expected them to be. Illinois started out sluggish against Toledo, and now to be fair, Toledo's a good football team. It just is, and it would have given a lot of good teams trouble, um, but Toledo arguably should have won that game. If Illinois doesn't complete the miracle pass on 4th and 7, Toledo comes out of <laughs> they, Toledo comes out of Illinois with a victory, um, and they're 1-0 right now, and Illinois sitting at 0-1. Um, I think Illinois is a team that's going to get better, right? A lot of their strength last year was their defense. They lost a lot of defensive talent. They lost their defensive coordinator. This is still Brett Bielema. He's a good coach. And Kansas has Lance Leipold. He's a really good coach. They're going to find ways to turn these uh, teams around. But they didn't start out the year great. I think this is going to be a really underrated matchup of week week two. I mean, a lot of people are going to be focused on ranked games, which is, to be fair, those are the exciting ones, chances for big upsets. Illinois beating Kansas isn't that huge of an upset. It's not that crazy. Um... Texas Tech beating Oregon, that would be something worth talking about. Texas beating Alabama, that'd be something worth talking about. And that's why those games are exciting. This these this games can also be very good. This is gonna be an unranked matchup that is very interesting and exciting. Um Illinois played a really they played a weak game last time, so did Kansas. Um, but Kansas played an FCS team. At least Illinois has that to point to. I I'm picking this on the fact that I think Daniels should be back for this football game. If he's not I'd, I'd be leaning Illinois in this matchup with Bean starting. Um, but with Daniel starting, I feel like he's going to help Kansas at home. It's going to help them out. Illinois is having to travel there. It's on a Friday night. A lot of eyes are going to be on them considering there's no other football going on. I mean, unless you want to watch Indiana State in Indiana the game before this. I like Kansas with a, bound, with a victory with Daniels. I think Daniels is a special player. Give me Kansas to win and cover at home.